Having somebody to help you and guide you and offer you the opportunities has been amazing. To go from doing a course which I hadn't even paid for myself to then uh, being offered to do interviews it just blew me away. Working with these teams of people, they're already vetting the people coming to us. They're so enthusiastic and really passionate. A great team to work with as well, to be honest with you. Morning. Hiya. You all right? Good. Right. Okay. Communities for Work Plus is funded by the Welsh Government. We provide one-to-one -one mentorship for people to help them get back into work or into work for the first time. We can work with anyone in the Wrexham County Borough as long as they're unemployed or in certain cases work part-time. We work from two office bases in Kaya Park and Plasmalloc, but we deliver activities right across the county borough in lots of different places. It's really exciting to be working with lots of employers in Wrexham and Craig's someone who's made the most of the opportunities that he's been given. He's worked his way up through JCB and he's a role model for us that we would sell to the people that we're working with. JCB was a big name. If you got into JCB, you had a good career. Started here as a young kid, 18. I'm a local lad. I'm from Wrexham. I'm 46 now and you know, general manager of JCB Transmissions. It's all about giving the people, the local people, an opportunity to grow themselves. So this business has given me fantastic opportunities. So I quickly established that we were struggling for certain types of skill sets locally. Machinists, fork truck drivers. This is how we're developing the area, developing the community. I've taken on 120 people this year full-time with JCB. Community Work Plus team are very easy to work with. They're key to it all, absolutely, absolutely key to it all. Explore is a science discovery centre. We've got activities which are all based around STEM, science, technology, engineering, maths. We haven't done a great deal to do with young adults and, and those looking to, to gain meaningful employment. So it's been really nice working with Communities for Work Plus and their particular groups on the pathways into employment. They're so enthusiastic about getting people into meaningful employment and being part of that process for us has been quite different as well. And it's been lovely getting to know the team and, and working with them on it. And they've even come for their own team building sessions as well, which has been really nice. Explore have given us an opportunity to get our message out to many more people than perhaps we, we would have been able to. It's provided a home for the driving simulator that we've been able to fund. And that's to explain opportunities that are available to people in the driving industry. We have been able to promote the simulator and the activities that we do with it into schools. So we're linking some of the activities that we've got in centre to some careers within logistics. It's for the people of Wrexham, whether that's school groups coming into centre or whether it's people who are looking for pathways into employment, really is music to our ears. I think Lewis would be the first to admit that he'd lost his way a bit and so we gave him an opportunity to consider a different path and to see if that was for him. I was working in supermarkets, cafes, uh, throughout the Covid pandemic working three or four jobs at a time. And initially I was contacted by Communities for Work asking if I wanted to do a forklift licence so I accepted and then went through the course. What this can do if I were to hit something now, which I'll try not to do. The simulator, at first I was terrible at it, I'm not going to lie, but the instructor he was brilliant, he was patient, walked me through it and I managed to pass my test. Then I was approached by the boss, uh, Julian, and he asked if I'd like to take a role at Gateway, so obviously I accepted it. At the moment I'm getting ready to take my instructor's licence, which will mean I can do my own courses, and um, we're hoping to progress that into me uh, doing courses on the simulator. It's a bit overwhelming to be honest. I wouldn't have got there without the help from Communities Work Plus. I mean, if no one tried to help me, I'd still be working in a supermarket.
Yellow and Blue are a charity, they're based in the town centre and they support vulnerable people in our communities. Specifically for us they work with people who are homeless or at risk of, of being homeless and therefore it's an opportunity to get involved with that group and give them an opportunity to change their circumstances through employment. Nicola is another example of how people just need a bit of help to make major changes in their life sometimes. And these changes are sometimes forced on us through circumstances. I was without work, claiming universal credit, speaking to the people from the job shop, and then they suggested that perhaps I speak to communities for work because they may be able to offer me things that they necessarily couldn't or have ideas that um, you know, might help find something. And because they have such close working relationships, Communities for Work Plus, with local businesses and training providers, there was a little bit more of an in. So one day Julie turned around and said, have you ever thought about being a security guard? And I just said, Julie, have you lost your marbles? And she said, no, 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 a friend of mine has been in security for a television company for years and she looks after all the audiences on one of the big TV shows. And I thought, oh, oh well now you've, you've spun that at me. Let's, let's have a look at this. So she sent me some information about the course, what I would get at the end of it. So I did it, I got my license. I then went on and did my CCTV operator's license as well. And I remembered the Royal Horticultural Society flower shows. So I rang them and said, I'd like to be on your security team for your events. So two days later, I had a phone call. I hear you want to work at Hampton Court Flower Show. So I just went, yes, when is it? And he said, next week. So I said, great. <laughs> and that was my first ever security job, all thanks to Communities for Work Plus. And if I'm a success, it's down to them. I love the work, we're making a real difference. Since April this year, we've got over 300 people into employment and we just feel like we're making a difference and changing people's lives. Emphasising and helping to see the benefits of what employment can do for them.